overarching, Nani, your takeaway off of the 2022 Home Run Derby? didn't disappoint. I mean, it certainly didn't. There were some guys like, you know, if you're rooting for a Kyle Schwarber being a Phillies fan, didn't work out in your direction. But if you're just talking about, you know, young rising stars of the game here coming up big, I mean, we certainly got that last night. Home runs and also, it's much more enjoyable when the home runs don't fly over 491 and a half feet. But I'm actually surprised it didn't go that far because there are a couple, you know, bombs out there in that stadium that I thought was one of those because also, they did a good job this year, too, Kevin. I want to put, point this out. ESPN had the telecast, which was, you know, home run derby, watch it go. But also they had the stat cast telecast on ESPN, too, which was able to give you the uh. readings in a timely fashion here to see exactly how far these balls were going. Because a couple of these were getting really close, you know, that 482 by Soto here. I thought eventually somebody was going to catch one and put one on the pavilion, but they didn't. But overall... I mean, this is as good a performance as you're going to find in professional sports. When you talk about, like, the dunk competition, this is by far better than the dunk competition at this point. These guys are getting after it and enjoying themselves. They, they definitely are. I'm not sure if there really is any all-star side event that stacks up right now to the home yeah. run derby. It's, it's, in a way, it's, it's simplicity is what gets the job done. You go to yes. the dunk contest, you're looking for – creativity, and it's kind of tough because so much has already been done. In the home run derby, it's, hey, listen, can you hit the ball 500 feet? Awesome, cool. It's a great time. But you mentioned the 500 feet thing. I do think that's interesting. We were coming off of Coors Field. We were coming off of monster home runs, monster performances. Juan Soto, who wins it this year, hits the ball 520 last year, which is the home run derby record. What I thought was interesting, Donnie, is they kept the format exactly the same, except there was one change. How you accrued bonus time at Coors Field was a home run or two of 475 feet. They flip it around this year, and it's 440 feet. So they made those adjustments going into the home run derby, which I thought as I watched Julio Rodriguez in the first round, okay, because last year at Coors, pretty much everybody got their bonus time. When you watch J-Rod's opening round, you go, oh, yeah, everyone's going to get their bonus time, and it's really going to be a four-minute first round. Julio Rodriguez kind of teased a little bit there. He made it look Man. so easy. It was not that easy for almost everybody else that followed. Nobody had as big of a round one as Julio Rodriguez did. 